Really impressive job by Iowa State today to get the win in what's been an impressive season for the Cyclones. Just think about what happened here. Matt Campbell led Iowa State to a Fiesta Bowl win in his fifth season as head coach there. It's unbelievable how he continues to change the expectations in Ames, Iowa. This coaching staff has done an amazing job developing players. They don't get a lot of four stars walking in the halls there at their football uh, building. And imagine... Brees Hall is, is the 66th ranked running back coming out of high school. Charlie Kohler is t- two offers are to Air Force and Army. They're finding diamonds in the rough, getting them in the weight room, developing them. And these players are buying into this blue collar approach and mentality. They play with a chip on their shoulder. And now you're just building blocks if you're Matt Campbell. You beat Oklahoma and Texas in the same season. You're probably going to finish somewhere in the top eight. And you've won the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. To me, Matt Campbell's the coach of the year this season. And the season has started off with a loss to Louisiana. And, and so in that first week, in that feeling in the Big 12 was this conference in very good. Sun Belt came in and got a couple wins in there, including that Louisiana win against Iowa State. And then what they've been able to do since then and to the end of the season, a lot of question marks when they were inside the top 10 a couple weeks ago, people questioning whether they deserve to be there or not. I think this win proves that this is a really good football team that deserves to be there. Interesting to see what happens moving forward in this season with people being able to come back you know, given sure. the extra year of eligibility. We know Brees Hall is very talented. We know Brock Purdy is a quarterback, very talented. Interesting to see what this team does moving forward. Well, Brees is a true sophomore. Had the famous quote after they beat Texas to earn a spot in the Big 12 championship. He said, look, we're not a five-star factory. We're a five-star culture. And we've yep. seen that out of Matt Campbell, the Mountain Union guy. He would say early on, he was one of those coaches that admitted that he had to change his approach a little bit. He said, look, I'm a Mountain Union guy. We're used to being overlooked. We've got to work harder. Maybe that doesn't mean work smarter. And he seems to have taken this pro program now to at least that level in the Big 12 when you're talking about Oklahoma class of the conference. Steve Sarkeesian just got hired at Texas today. Where are they mm-hmm. going to go? Gary Patterson struggling a little bit at TCU. Iowa State's right there within the top two, three teams. You have, in to, this you have to build on it, though. You know, it, it can't be when you start to talk about the Oklahomas of the world who've done it year in and year out. Each mm-hmm. single year before we start seasons, we assume and pick Oklahoma to win the Big 12 because they've done it for so long. Sure. Iowa State's one of those teams that is right on the cusp. But they have to build on this and continue this success so that when you look at them in the next season, they're that team that can challenge an Oklahoma, a Texas, who you assume would be back with Sarkeesian as their head coach. These kind of programs need to do it year in and year out to earn that respect. Just let me ask you something about Matt Campbell, though, hmm. because he's a coach when you're young and you're building a program that – You're going to be mentioned with big-time jobs, maybe even in the NFL. If you're Matt Campbell, are you in love enough with this Ames culture that you've built to build this into, like Joey said, a consistent Big 12 champion contender? I think I am if I'm Matt Campbell because he's put the work in. And I think when you have success on big stages like this, it breeds success. Make no mistake about it. There are a lot of recruits around the country seeing the Cyclones play much more often. We've seen them now beat Oklahoma a couple times in the last couple of years. You're now starting to beat Texas. You're getting to these big games. You're getting to Big 12 championship games. And I think before Iowa State was sort of confined geographically around themselves to recruit I think when you have success like this, on stages like this, you now can start plucking better players and start building this thing from a roster standpoint. I love what he's done with his coaching staff, and I love the schemes they run on both sides of the football. It's innovative. I think these are schemes that a lot of kids would want to go play in. It gives them an opportunity to play at the next level. Look, you're a young running back. You're watching Brees Hall go off. You think, yeah. I could go play Your there. talented tight end. You yeah. see that's, these tight that's ends. An, I, mean, th- I think that's an interesting concept, though. When you bring up, is this job big enough? Do you not want to take that next step? It's one thing to win, to get into the Big 12 championship game. You end up losing Oklahoma. It's another thing to be talked about as a team that can get to the playoff, especially in this culture that the playoff has created. Going to the Fiesta Bowl, getting a win is huge, but there's still like a bigger stage. Can you take Iowa State there, or if you have a chance to go to a better situation, I don't know that Ames, Iowa is the place. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.